What's going on everybody, The King here, and today we are gonna talk about equipment that you can use when you are first starting out your channel and starting from nothing. So if you are starting from nothing and know absolutely nothing, there are a few basic things that you will need to get started. You don't necessarily need a light, but just to make sure your video looks good, you are going to want to have some sort of extra lighting, whether that is natural light by sitting. You don't want a window directly behind you, but you want the window to shine light towards you just from an angle and you will get that good lighting. And whenever you are editing, you can color grade but lighting is a very very important thing regardless if you use equipment or not for me i ended up getting the it was a sun pack uh ring light a multicolor ring light and it has a small little stand on it so you can put your phone if you are using your phone to record with this you can put your phone on there the ring light shines down on you and you have kind of that background effect because you do have the phone aiming at you as well and the sun pack kit does also have a lavalier mic which is what i am actually using right now to record just because in my space i also have a, i have a shop that's somewhat empty so there is a little bit of an echo so super super beneficial kit i'll have everything on screen so you can see exactly what i got and i will try to find links to all of these products just to make sure that you can just find them easily the next thing that you are going to need is a stand now if you don't have a stand that's okay you you can get creative uh, I know Casey Neistat, he really, really liked using shoes if he had to get creative with something, so you just stick your phone in the shoe and can record. Otherwise, I mean, if you do have a camera, just get creative, find, find a table or something that you can prop it up so it's at a good angle and you can get a nice shot of you while you are talking. If you are getting a stand, I got a very basic stand, so I got the ring light, obviously. And then I also got a on-brand ONN um, tripod that is adjustable and it has a, a few different settings. And that has actually been really, really functional for me. The phone holder on my light ended up breaking just because I actually got a new phone so I could get a little bit better picture. So the phone was too big. I stretched it too far and it broke. This one actually works for, I, I got the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. So that is a pretty big phone. This will work for that. My only issue with this one, just in case you are kind of shopping around, is it does not tighten that well so if you don't have that much mobility with the stand itself if you're trying to get different angles you have to get it really really precise and it's kind of hard to do because the phone is heavy but if you're just starting out it's a good basic tripod to have the other thing that i got for videos that aren't talking head videos like this is this a bauer it was the bauer ultimate vlogging kit so you put your phone here and actually my uh pro max does not fit on this and then you have a light that you just you connect up here and then it also has this little shotgun mic the shotgun mic isn't that great on this. I, I found that I got a lot of static whenever I was using it, so I have not really used this a ton. I've been sticking more with the lavalier light, er, lavalier mic, but that is also due to my situation because I am filming in a space that does have a pretty good echo. I put quilts on the walls in a few spots, and I have my sound turtle behind you, which helps a little bit with the echo and especially with having a mic right here it really helps cut that down so that you guys have good audio and so i can provide a better quality video for you 
So if you are having issues whenever you're getting started with any type of echo or anything, throw up a few quilts and it will help a ton. These, I got, I've got one quilt here, one quilt to my right. I've got a couple of rugs on the floor and granted this is a pretty decent sized room. And I have the sound turtle, which is a whole bunch of little sound panels that I made into the shape of a turtle. And I put a mattress topper, a foam mattress topper that I nailed to the ceiling to help that bounce a little bit. I don't know if it's actually doing anything, but I like to think it is because again, the echo is cut down tremendously. The next thing that you're gonna wanna focus on is your microphone, which we've already talked a little bit about. And my only issue with the lav mic is it's wired. So I am constantly attached to it. Now the wire is long and that's great, but whenever I'm trying to do something like a skit, it's not as practical being hooked up to it just because you're gonna see the wire almost no matter what, you have to edit it out, which if you are working with nothing and editing on your phone, it's, it's hard to get that out short of just being able to zoom in and kind of cut it off. Now, if we were on um, Premiere Pro or something, that wouldn't really be as much of a problem, but it is, it's still nice to have. It, it has worked really, really well for my needs at the moment and getting you guys started on your creator journey. The other microphone that I have had is the Smart Mic die mini di mini uh so this thing is honestly not too bad it provides a pretty good sound it has the cover in case you are filming outside and you do need you know it it's windy you can plug this in directly to an iphone and it, it really does it's not the best with noise cancellation but it does help kind of project your voice a little bit so that you can actually get a decent sound if you are outside. I use it every once in a while inside if I'm mobile, but I am still, again, limited a little bit just because of the echo in here. And while I'm trying to figure that out, I try and use the lock when I can. I had the shotgun mic and I got that really bad crackling the shotgun mic, if you have the money to get a good one, a good shotgun mic can do wonders for you because you just point it directly at where you want it to pick up sound and it's going to pick out great, great sound. I just don't have the money for that yet. So this is what I'm working with. The other thing you will want is this is kind of uh, extra thing that you will actually need for most microphones like lavalier mics or anything like that is a dongle and that is a lightning to headphone jack adapter and you want the 3.5 millimeter adapter and that will make it so like my lav mic is plugged into that and then that's plugged into my phone i've noticed a lot of things that you need it for so it definitely is a good investment and i think i got mine for like 10 bucks at walmart um walmart i said that funny but other than that i haven't really needed a ton yet because i'm still doing some pretty basic videos so it is, it's really nice to be able to work with minimal stuff. Now, as I get subscribers and everything, I will kind of upgrade that stuff just because I am trying to document all of this for you so that you can get start to finish how being a creator goes. I really hope this video was helpful for you. The next video we are gonna have is probably going to be filming itself it's probably going to be a pretty short simple video because I, I don't want to go too crazy but it will be filming and then i will go into the editing process and show how all that is done from your phone i'll give you a list of editing software software you can use but don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up and i'll see you next time